Hey everybody, Coach Allison, and I have your week 17 Defy Aging workout to show you today. Uh, this week is going to be a little bit different. We do have seven stations and we are gonna rotate like we typically do. However, we're only gonna rotate around once, so you're actually only going to be at each station one time. The way this works is that that one time that you are at each station, you're gonna stay there for about three minutes. You're gonna stay there for five rounds of 20 seconds on, 20 seconds off. So you work 20 seconds, rest 20 seconds, work 20, rest 20, and you do that five times. Okay, let's go through the exercises. Okay, exercise one is a wall sit with a medicine ball forward press. So the wall sit is really gonna target your legs, um, of course, and the, the, the forward press with the medicine ball is a lot of chest and a lot of shoulder, okay? So you'll need a wall. Your coach will have a designated spot for, for doing this. Um, so step your feet out, and as you step your feet out, you're gonna sink down like you're sitting in an imaginary chair, pressing your back against the wall. Make sure your whole back is against the wall and you're not leaning forward. Go as low as you're able. Um, again, you're gonna be holding this for 20 seconds, so try to challenge yourself um, with how low you're going. So one important thing, let me lower the camera a little bit so you can see this. One important thing is that you wanna make sure your knees don't ever go farther forward than your toes. By that I mean watch, right now I have my feet so close to the wall and I'll look where my knees are. They're coming up over my toes. It's a lot of strain on your knees. So step your feet out farther. Now my knees are kind of right on top of my ankles. So this is pretty low. My legs are about parallel to the floor. That's gonna be the hardest way to do it. If that's too intense, just scoot up a little bit. And now it's gonna take that intensity down a notch. So find your level. Once you're there, got the medicine ball in your hands, and we're keeping the upper back pressed against the wall. We're not coming forward. And we're gonna press the ball forward, pull it back. Reps like this. Try to get a full extension. If you can't get a full extension, that means the ball that you have is a little too heavy. So for the next round, because again, you're gonna be here for five rounds, take the weight down to a lighter weight. And that's exercise one. Okay, the next station is the battle rope. And we're gonna have a little fun with it this week. Uh, your coach is gonna decide what battle rope movement you're gonna do. So I'm not gonna do any demo for this. Um, Cause again, it's kind of up to your coach how they are going to run this, this in your session this week. So it'll be a nice surprise which battle rope movement you're gonna do. Okay, the next exercise is a seated band back row. And you're gonna be sitting on the floor. Definitely use a mat here if you wish. The band is hooked up to a rack in front of me here. So you do want to sit with legs out. Now I have the band hooked up kind of low because um, that's the only thing I have at this facility. Ideally you want the band just a little bit higher because as you can see, it's kind of running into my feet. But that's okay, I'm gonna just spread my feet apart a little bit so that it works fine. So you want to sit up really tall. If your hamstrings are a little tight and you can't get your legs flat on the floor, that's fine. They can have a little bit of a bend here, that's fine. Sit up nice and tall and straight so we're not slouched. And shoulders down and back. See how I did that? This is kind of casual. This is shoulders down and back. Sit up tall, pull that band back, squeeze your shoulder blades together, elbows drive back, exhale on the pull. Don't end up shrugging your shoulders. Keep the elbows in snug, we don't want them flaring out. So you might have to play around a little trial and error on how far back to sit. Now if that had been too easy, I would just scoot back a little bit. Now I'm pulling more resistance. Okay, so that is our seated band back row. All right, next station is an overhead tandem walk. Tandem walk, if you recall from past weeks, is basically a little balance exercise, walking heel to toe. And so the overhead component is simply putting the arms up. It's harder than it sounds, however. Put palms facing inward, get these biceps as close as you can to your ears. So we want a really strict, uh, focused, controlled upper body position here. So meaning we don't want this arms kind of floppy and loose. So. Be, be meaningful with where your arms are. Straighten them out, squeeze all these muscles. Biceps are close to your ears, so they're not out here. All that good stuff. See how my posture now is nice and tall, so I'm not leaning forward like this. Find, uh, once you find all those cues, <laughs> arms up, arms strong, tall posture, we're gonna walk heel to toe, whatever speed you wish. But do make sure that the heel is connecting with the toe. I'll show you from the side. Okay, notice why I'm not slouching forward, so really try to keep that back up. If you want an added challenge, feel free to hold a medicine ball over your head. That'll add a whole bunch of challenge components. So 
still want that same, you know, focused arm. We don't want the arms bent. So if this is where you're at, trying to hold the ball over your head, again, either drop the weight to something lighter or drop the ball and don't use the ball because we do want arms straight up overhead. After that, it's the same tandem walk. So your coach will have a designated spot for this tandem walk. Okay, next up is walking lunges. We've had these quite a bit over the years. So those of you who are, are veterans will know this. Okay, so your coach will have a space for this because we're gonna be moving forward. Um, so big step, bend both knees down, up. As you step up, you're also stepping together. Other side, down, up, together. Keep that going. A couple things to keep in mind with lunges. Make sure you're allowing the back foot to roll up onto the toes. See how I'm on my toe? That's gonna allow me to bend that knee. If you try to force the knee, or sorry, the heel to stay down, you can't, you physically can't bend your knee because we don't want it to end up with a straight leg back here. That's not a lunge. That's a great stretch, but it's not a lunge. Um, mm -hmm. Lunge is bending both knees. Get as low as you're able, whatever that depth might be. If this is where you're at, that is beautiful. You can work towards getting lower and lower the stronger and stronger you get. Couple, another thing to keep in mind with lunges, it is a lot of balance. So um, your, hopefully your coach can set this up near a wall or a rack where you can kind of keep your hand on if you need to. Also wanna make sure that you're not leaning forward like that. I did it a little excessively to make the point, but um, so I'll show you a couple with a forward lean. That's what we wanna avoid. Instead, you're keeping your back up very tall, very straight. Okay, just like that wall sit from earlier, keep your back up tall and straight. Oh yes, if there's any irritation with your knees, lunges are a little knee intensive. We're gonna take this to a squat. So instead of doing walking lunges when you're at the station, you'll do a body weight squat, sinking those hips down and back, sitting in that imaginary chair, body weight in your heels. Next one is a kettlebell around the world. This one takes a little getting used to. So you got one kettlebell around the world is kind of around your body. Sounds weird, but yeah. So it's a little harder than I'm making it look probably. I've done this 5 billion times in my lifetime, right? Um, so yeah, the, a couple of goals here. We're trying to keep the body uh, strong and solid. So I'm trying not to waver and I'm not like kind of twisting all over the place and leaning and so I'm keeping my body very Notice so how I'm not moving too much, right? Another thing to keep in mind, keep your shoulders kind of engaged so the shoulders aren't all over the place like this. I'm keeping my shoulders very squared, kind of shoulders down and back. This is a relaxed shoulder, not really thinking about posture. This is shoulders engaged, kind of bringing them down and back. So you want to keep that position. Yeah, so I suggest alternating direction, either switching half, switching direction halfway through or alternating each set. You know, go this direction, set one, and then go this direction, set two. Uh, just so you can see how I'm kind of catching it behind the back. Okay. There'll be a few times where you miss it and you might drop it. That's okay. The floors can handle a little kettlebell falling now and then. Um, I feel like there was something else I was going to bring up on that one, but I can't think of it. So anyway, that is our kettlebell around the world. Okay, and the last one is an upright band chest press. Typically a chest press is done lying on the floor or on a bench, so we're taking it to an upright position using a band, so it's quite different than what you might be used to. You have the band hooked up to something. Ideally, you want the band a little bit higher than your height. So, of course, everyone's different heights, right? But the same setting, like it could even be up here and that would be fine. One setting should work for most of our participants. Um, we just don't want it lower than your shoulders. So something higher than your shoulders. Okay. You're gonna step forward with one leg, whatever leg feels more comfortable, so that doesn't matter. For me, I feel more natural with my left foot forward. Because you see you want the bands coming over your, on top of your shoulders, so you can see how if the, the band was hooked up low, it would be really uncomfortable. Okay, so shoulders down and back. So again, this is kind of relaxed shoulders. This is engaged down and back shoulders, chest out. You see how I did kind of a little chest pop. We press forward, release back. So as you press forward, I'm gonna move the camera a little more in front of me. As you press forward, you're also bringing them slightly inward together, just a little bit, okay? So here my hands are, elbows out to the side, and as I 
press forward. I'm kind of, oh shoot, there we go. Kind of bringing them in together. Don't overthink it. You don't have to do like a, don't make it like choppy like this. It should all be one smooth movement. Exhale on the press. And that is our upright band chest press. Okay, that is week 17. I hope you enjoy this slightly different way to work our stations this week, and we'll see you back for week 18.